God bless and happy Sabbath to you all. Today is July 31st. What I'd like to talk to you about today is God's gifts to us. Specifically in our talents. God gave you gifts that he did not give to me. Just like he gave me gifts that you do not have. What those are exactly, we find out the rest of our lives. In certain periods of our lives, they're different than other periods. The one thing that I think so many of us miss out on is, is that we are held by fear to even find out what those gifts are. And even if we do find out what those gifts are, we are held captive in a prison of fear to then act upon those gifts that God has given to us. And this is exactly what the evil one wants. Let us not fall into this trap. Let us embrace the gifts that God has given to us and let us spread the gospel through them. So God gives us gifts that we are to use. And a lot of times we never even know what those gifts are. These gifts could be super amazing things like speaking in tongues. Or they could be the mundane tasks such as a mother who day in and day out does the laundry and through that laundry provides for her family and loves them in a way that maybe some moms don't do as well. And they weren't given that gift. But how are we to know what God has given us for gifts in this life? It's part of our, our personality here on earth. Well, we must try a bunch of different things, right? Like, how am I to know, let's say, photography is my thing. It's not, as you can tell by the quality of this video. But let's say that, like, Photography and videography is my thing. Well, how am I to know that that is something that God has given to me as a gift that I would be good at unless I try that? Well, wouldn't it be a shame if God gave me the gift of being an amazing photographer and I never even knew, I never even found out, I never even tried it? And wouldn't it be even worse if what held me back from finding, from learning about this gift that God has given to me, wouldn't it be even worse if what held me back from that was fear? For fear is from the devil. No fear comes from God. Fear is of the evil one. You know, if I was truly united with Christ, I would never fear a thing in my life, ever. I would live my life as God intended. Because if I was truly united with Christ and I didn't fear, well, I would know that if I was to fail, if I was to fall, God would pick me back up and he would be there for me. And yet I fear because I don't truly trust our God. And that's the reality for most of us in this life. We don't live up to our true potential because instead we listen to the devil and we instead live in fear. Now let's say that we did go outside our box. We did push through the fear that the devil was giving us and instead we did move out of our comfort zone. We did try new things. You did try that art class. You did learn about photography. You did go to cooking school. You did pray over somebody. And you, and you did something beyond what you're comfortable with. And you found out, maybe this is something that God has given to me to share with the world that I'm actually quite passionate and good about. Well, if that's a gift that God has given to you, you should probably figure out, well, how, how do I use this gift? And see, this is where even more fear comes in, because now not only have you found the gift 
that God has given to you, but you are about to find out how you are to share that with the world and to fulfill your potential in that way. And so the devil comes in again, even more so probably, with more fear and paralyzes us as to, well, how am I to use this gift? Let's say that I do find out that I'm really good at photography, even though I'm not. Let's say I do, and I want to start creating beautiful photos and videos, and I want to share to the world this gift, and I want to use it because God's given it to me, but then how do I do it? Well, do I make a video about animals, or do I make a video about the sky? Do I make a video about a person or a story? What if, what if I make the wrong video? What if I made a video about a bicyclist when really I was supposed to take a picture of the grass? Oh no. What, what, what if I did the wrong video? Who gives a f No, who gives a f You do the wrong thing. Guess what? It doesn't matter. God is still there for us. So what? You do the wrong thing. You try something else. You keep going. And instead, what the devil wants you to think is, is that he wants to paralyze you to never act out of fear of what others might think, out of fear that it won't succeed, out of fear that it's going to be awkward and bad, and it probably will be. And that's okay, because we're all awkward and bad people, and yet God loves us anyways. So you're not going to win that battle. You are going to suck. But we must act. We must act, because when we are in this world, we cannot create on our own. We must use God, but also God has chosen to use us here on earth to act and to use his and to fulfill his will. We work together with God, but God cannot use us until we act. He has chosen to use you, but in order to use you, you have to do. I'm not saying that we should never discern. I'm not saying quit your job, move into a mobile home, and just trust that God's going to provide and you're going to make cat videos on the internet and that's what you're going to do. Now, if that's what you are going to do, let me know because that sounds quite funny. But you should probably really discern before you go in and enact something very large like that. You should always discern, but especially when you're making major life decisions. I'm not saying don't discern. But what I am saying is, is that so-called all of us discerning what to do Probably a lot of us, we're not discerning. We're just paralyzed out of fear, and that fear is from the devil. I love you all so much, although most of you I don't know, so I can't love you that much, but I'm trying. But you know what's even more important? God loves you so much, so keep that in mind. I'll catch you next week. This is what I got for today. What am I doing? See you later.